Hi, welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3 2017. Uh, we're going to take a look at a new game, Sushi Striker, The Way of Sushido. Yeah! <laughs> Well, that is, that is Sushi so Striker. That is the coolest <laughs> intro to a game I could ever imagine. <laughs> I uh, love that song. Yeah, I want to make it my ringtone. I'm Rich. I'm here with uh, Teresa and Corey. And yeah, everybody's a fan of that song. We have to, we have to get that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce this game to us, Yeah, Teresa? so this is, this is Sushi Striker, The Way of Sushi Do. Um, the developer is Indie Zero. Uh, you might know them from any NES Remix. Um, and so the game you could either play as a boy or a girl, but I'm going to pick a boy. Um, and so as we go, th you can see here that the map is actually pretty substantially big, but um, obviously my save data hasn't been played up very long, so I'm actually going to start here in the first area. Um, and the story is in a post-war er uh, setting where two sides have been fighting for the rights to sushi supply, and these mystical beings that really love sushi or are masters of sushi exist. Um, this boy, or girl, Musashi, they leave their village on a really empty stomach and they encounter this man that ends up feeding them sushi for the very first time. And Musashi thinks that this thing is the most amazing, delicious food ever. Right, he's never had it before. Yeah, and it never. just blows his little mind. Yes, and so, but unfortunately their encounter gets you know disrupted very quickly due to a notorious organization. But that becomes a catalyst of Musashi and encountering a mythical being that specializes in sushi and they he decides to share his power with him and then they decide to go off on this journey to become the ultimate sushi striker pretty straightforward yeah. right, right yeah, just, yeah. yeah, yeah the standard, i think uh, so i think it <laughs> is detail, yeah anyway uh now i should say that this game is obviously it's all in japanese uh and uh very much in development right now um so we're, we're pretty lucky to take uh, uh this early a look at it um, but I think it's really rad, and I think you guys really enjoy it. So let's go into our yeah, first let's sushi hop in. battle. All right. So this is a puzzle action game. Mm -hmm. And as you can see here, both myself and the opponent have three layers, uh, three lanes of sushi. And similar to real-life conveyor belt sushi, um, the plates symbolize, well, in real life, conveyor belt sushi, the plates symbolize a, a price. Right. But here, it actually amounts to the amount of damage that you can inflict in your opponent. Yep. So what you're trying to do is actually chain plates yeah. to make a really big stack. And you're going to have the touch screen on the bottom uh, bottom screen there. That's right. And so I did say that each, each person has three uh, conveyor belts, but there's actually one on top of my screen that's a gold one, and that's actually shared. So Either myself or the opponent can actually take from that belt. Um, and the other thing, too, is that 
you have seven seconds to create your chain. If you try to hold on to it and try to make a stack nice. as, as much as you 16. can't, you lose that stack. Yeah, which, that would have been an awesome stack. You had a lot of sushi there. Right? I just wanted to prove a point. Right. Yeah. But the other thing, too, is that you can lose it if it goes off screen. Right. So you got to act fast. got to get that sushi off. And so you're, you're hurling these plates at the opponent. Uh, and it looks like your health is at the top of the bottom screen. So That's right. uh, you've got about 4,000 or so. Your opponent's got a little over 3,000 in the red bar up there in this uh, sushi battle. And I definitely want to strategize. Like, I see that there's a lot of green plates here, so I'm going to try to make, or blue plates, so I'm going to try to make a really big plate. And you'll see that I'll start um, accruing five stacks on the bottom screen. Mm -hmm. And so if I make an actual six stack, that automatically curls to the opponent. But I could also just grab it and throw it at him. Right. Uh, the chains that I make actually will build this lantern meter that's at, at the top of the touch screen. Mm -hmm. And so once it fills up, which I'm going to try here. Nice. <laughs> Almost. There we go. Oh, not yet. There we go. Um, Musashi gets like super empowered. There's more plates of similar color, so I can make uh, chains a lot easier. And then there's also a multiplier uh, added to the stacks that are on the, the bottom touch screen. And with that, that means that the multiplier on the stacks do much more damage. So I'm actually gonna end my opponent here. I just love the, the setting yeah. of eating those sushi and throwing your plates at the opponent. I know, it's, like I get more powerful by eating more sushi. Right. Like, I mean, I wish that was in real life because I could <laughs> eat more food and become that and powerful. Anyone who's been to a conveyor belt sushi restaurant knows the feeling of like, right when you get done with your meal, you have that huge stack of plates, right? right? That's yeah. how your bill is determined. Yeah. yeah. So you see here that um, I got a C rank. Unfortunately, I didn't do that well. Oh, that's okay. We but were, it's, <laughs> it's yeah, related to my score. Yeah. But there's also these three stars, and those are actually related to the objectives that I've accomplished within that level. Right. And also here, you'll see that uh, both Musashi and their companions are leveled up according to the levels that you're able to successfully win. Right. And you, I'll actually go into more detail on right. that. Right, yeah. We'll do that next. So actually, Corey. Why don't you take a stab? Yeah, give it a try. Right Thank you. Yeah. So you were talking about those uh, companions. If you see our little uh, a white fluffy guy who, who's our little companion here. That's right. So the little lion oh gosh, character that's with. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so right there, the opponent used his unicorn character's ability, which mm -hmm. sped up the lanes. Um, Musashi has this lion character, and his power up, and you'll see the b green bar that's next to his face on the right. touch screen. It actually slowly increases depending on the sushi type mm -hmm. that Musashi eats. And each companion will have an affinity to a specific sushi. Yeah. And that will change as they level up throughout mm -hmm. the game. Um, and obviously, they'll become more powerful. Each of these, uh, these characters, they actually have a special ability. So the unicorn sped up the, the lanes. But the lion character has a different ability, which hopefully Corey Hill will be able oh, yeah. to show in here in a second. Close. Oh, yeah. Go crazy again. Oh. Yeah, all right, go, Corey. go, Corey. Believe there me. We go. There we go. There you go. So all now right. it's ready. And what happens is all the plates that are on this active screen turn into a single color. And that allows for Corey to chain all of these plates into a single large stack. Right. That He's got that huge damage. stack there in the middle. Yeah. So and now his uh, lantern meter, this it allows for the special mode. And it's added all these appliers now on the touch screen. Right. So oh, look Corey that. can look at that plate. These. Nice. Oh, you should totally throw those. You're right. Oh. Yes. So you have two ways of attacking the enemies. Either it'll drop off automatically when you fill up another row, or you can actually manually swipe them up, swipe up on the screen and throw those plates at, at the opponent. That's right. Which is pretty great. Cool. It's very satisfying, you know, when they've been dealing a lot of damage to you and you have the option. Oh, S rank. Nice. Very good. Well, you, it's on. you set me up for success. <laughs> you. I thought that would be a challenge considering he did <laughs> execute that move like right at the beginning. You had me fooled. Great job. All right, so we're going to go to another level. I'm going to ask Corey to play this one, too. But before we do, I'm actually going to add more companions. So in this game, you're actually you're able to get more companions as you keep playing through the game. So um, I'm going to add this electric cat. 
And I'm going to add this little Let's penguin. Let's do it, yeah. I like that guy. Yeah. Cool. Let's do that. And each companion has their own ability, so again, you have to keep strategizing as to, you know, if you find that a level is too hard, um, you might want to keep going to previous levels and keep, you know, leveling up so you become stronger. Yeah. Or you can try to find another companion to use during that and try to get the upper hand against your opponent. Right. Yeah. And you can see them all on the bottom left now, right? Those are all of my companions. That's so right. their bars are going to fill up as they eat particular kinds of sushi. That's right. But your opponent also has uh, three companions active now, so. It, it's even now. Yeah. It's three against three. Right. Oh. There's that locked sushi plate. I want it. Oh, that's ah. right. So you'll see at the gold conveyor belt at the very top of the touch screen, there's these uh, covered plates. And that actually has a lantern. And you definitely, it's locked. It. Mm -hmm. So you have to get a, that certain number of plates in order to, to grab onto it. And you definitely want to get it before your opponent because, again, it turns right. it automatically goes yellow cat. that lantern. Yellow cat is ready. Oh, use it. So what he does is if you throw the plates, it has an ele electric buff that when you throw it against the enemy, it does that extra damage, yeah. which I personally like. Right. That's my yeah. favorite one. It's awesome. And so uh, you'll see in the bottom right-hand corner of the bottom screen, you have a, like a live camera feed that shows you sort of a different take on the action. You can see the enemy eating his sushi. All right, my penguin is ready as well. Oh. To get some desserts. Awesome. So, so tapping these desserts will replenish your health. And that can be handy, especially when you're in a tight spot. Absolutely, yeah. The, the enemy just uh, unleashed some electric packs on Cory, so that HP, the extra HP will come in handy. Yeah. So you're saying that live feed? Yeah, that actually interchanges between you and the opponent depending on the highlights of the battle. Yeah. It's really fun to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you don't have necessarily all the time in the world when you're playing this game. It is pretty... Uh, Hectic when you're in there, you got you got to focus on your lanes, but yeah, uh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Great job. Well done. It's me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> that is an effect that this game has on people. Be nice. Not bad. It's fun to identify some of the sushi in the game too, right? right. You got like yeah. your traditional salmon. Uh, you've got your California rolls for fans of sushi in here in the U.S. Right. You've got your your egg, tuna, delicious. my favorite yeah. eel. Delicious. I'm telling you, man, it, it, playing this game will make you hungry. <laughs> I'm already hungry just talking about right? it. OK, so um, I'm actually going to switch it up and add, uh, put in different characters. But I also want to show, um, I'm actually going to keep my electric guy, because I really like him. He's my favorite. I'm going to put the Cathus character. And I'm also, so this screen here, actually, I can put um, two other uh, com uh, uh, characters that I'm not really using. But so what will happen is that they're in my party. And even though I'm not actively using them, they will level up as I'm playing a level. And that's actually very handy because in the circumstance that I decide to switch companions later on down the road, I could just easily swap them out and not have to worry about leveling them up because they're already being leveled as I keep playing. Yeah, that's awesome. They level in tandem, so yeah, that, that really adds to the diversity of what you can do yeah, it, in battle. Yeah, it, it makes strategizing a lot easier. Yep. Uh, so this is a boss battle, and oh he is really, really brutal. I don't know if I'm going to make it, but I'm definitely going to try. Oh, good luck. Oh my gosh, he is making massive stacks. Yeah, he Look at has that plate. A, <laughs> oh my god. He has special <laughs> characters that... Uh, are pretty OP. He's also not wearing a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he rolls. Helps. Yeah. Nice stack. There you go. Thank you. So you got some companions ready. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah. One thing I think you mentioned is yeah, it's tough to know whether or not to get that multiplayer multiplier by sticking with the same type of sushi, or should you just say no? I just need the plates and just go for the same color yeah. plates yeah. because sometimes that multiplier will actually do more damage with less plates than the same amount of plates with different sushi. Nice. Oh, there we go. You're, hanging, you're holding your own there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. And of course, we're showing single player right now. There will be a two player mode in this game. 
Oh my gosh, I'm mesmerized by your, your stacking skills here. <laughs> Get the eel. Oh, you were a little bit more. Yes! Yay. Wow! Get it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice job. I still have not beaten Thank him. You. He destroys me every time. <laughs> he's, awesome. he's pretty challenging. That's yeah. for sure. Well, uh, please look forward to this game coming out uh, in 2018. Um, but for right now, uh, do stay tuned uh, for the 2017 ARMS Open Invitational. It's going to be some pretty awesome ARMS uh, oh, gameplay going I'm on. I'm excited so to see that. Look forward to it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.